Hey folks, uh, another NixOS video here. This is number 55. Uh, this is kind of a revisitation of a, a video I made, I guess about a month ago, uh, where I made a ZFS, well, I made a backup of my home directory, or at least something standing in for my home directory, to an external USB enclosure using uh, Jim Salter's Syncoid. And it wasn't a particularly good uh, backup because uh, I was only able to, you know, every, I think it, I think at the end of it, I, I, I was backing up every day to the same target. And what it meant was that the backup I was making most presently would overwrite the backup that I had last made. And so I was only able to restore one generation of stuff. It was not, not great, but it, it was the best I could do at the time. But in the meantime, I've come to understand a little bit more about how I can use ZFS snapshots um, to get more than one generation worth of backup uh, to restore from. And the key to this is using another Jim Salter project using uh, called Sanoid. Um, Sanoid is a is uh, a package that its entire purpose in life is to make ZFS snapshots, and uh, you you sort of feed it. Um, the number of snapshots you want to make on a monthly, daily, yearly, you know, hourly basis, and it will do such a thing. And um, the key thing to understand about this is that Syncoid, which isn't, you know, these things are named very similar, but they're different. Syncoid is the thing that actually makes the backup, and Sanoid is the thing that actually makes the snapshots. Sanoid doesn't, doesn't make backups. Syncoid does make a snapshot, but only one snapshot to, in order to keep track of the last time it made made a snapshot. Um, Syncoid will copy all the snapshots that you have from the source to the target. End of story. It, it will it will do that without uh, you if if you ma manually make a, a snapshot on your source and you copy and and Syncoid copies the data set that you made the snapshot on to the target. The snapshot will come along. So that's how that works. Um, and so what I've ended up doing is I have uh, configured Sanoid in such a way that it will make snapshots every so often, you know, every uh, once a year, you know, uh, once a week, once a day, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and then it will, and then when Syncoid runs, it'll copy those to the, to the target. And what's nice about this is that actually you can, I said in the last video, I wasn't quite sure how to like have a different number of snapshots uh, on the on the source and the target. Where on the source, I'm not particularly concerned about having like you know uh, seven daily snapshots. I, I, it's not interesting to me to 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 keep around that historical information on my on my source data set. But it is it is interesting to me to keep around that historical information on my and my target data set on on the backup stuff and this Sano thing lets you do that it's a little little tricky to configure but we'll, we'll go over here so um, in here my configuration this is this is where I ended up in my last video I was I was sort of my target was some test thing but now I'm actually backing up my actual home directory and um, the uh, Upshot of this is that I wound up basically with the same thing in the last video, where I where I uh, send um, where I send yeah where I send my Nix root home, which is my home directory on my you know this this machine uh, to a target data set, which is on an external enclosure called B, and it's called Think Think Nix five twelve home and this runs every day. So I'm not exactly sure when it runs, probably, you know, sometime after midnight or whatever, but it, it runs every day and it does exactly what you see here. It just copies whatever is on my source data set to my target data set, including snapshots, which is, which is the important point. So, um, the new bit that I've come up with here is, is a configuration of Sanoid, which is, like I said, it only does snapshots and it's a little tricky to think about because 
you know you want to you want to keep around old snapshots on the on the on the target but you don't want to keep around old snapshots on the source because why would you you, you have a backup you know and uh, what I wound up doing was I said, okay, I want it for Sanoid. Uh, I have it run every hour. This, this, this thing here is just this 0.1 is just for demonstration purpose. But in reality, I have it run every hour. And what I wanted to do is I wanted to uh, take a snapshot of, of my data sets. It, it runs every hour. But it may not make a snapshot every hour. It's, it's it takes one daily. It, it 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 manages my snapshots such that there's one daily snapshot, one weekly snapshot, and one monthly snapshot, one yearly snapshot on my source data set. And we can take a look at what that means by the FS list. Yeah, this this here. So uh, it's been running for a while now. And oh, that's actually the wrong data set. Sorry. Uh, what I want is dash R nix root home. I'm gonna make this window a little bit bigger so it doesn't wrap. So on my, this is my home directory. This is where this lives, home Chris M. Well, home anyway, not just home Chris M. Uh, it's going to make a snapshot once a year, once a month, once a week, and it'll it'll take one daily snapshot as well, and. Uh, this is this is enough. These are enough snapshots to feed the target data set with with a number of other snapshots that we don't keep here. So the only snapshots I have laying around on my home directory are from a year ago, last month, last week, yesterday, sort of thing. That's that's the way I think about it anyway. Um, and the way that's configured here is to say in the Sanoid stuff. Keep around one daily snapshot, one weekly snapshot, monthly, yearly. I don't keep around hours, hourly snapshots. It runs every hour, but it ensures that, you know, it doesn't take, it doesn't, there's not, no requirement that it actually takes a snapshot every hour. It just runs every hour to see, hey, do I need to take a snapshot? And if I don't need to take a snapshot, or if I do need to take a snapshot, uh, are there any old data sets that I, or any old snapshots that I can prune? So the only data, the only snapshots that I have hanging around here are these four data these four snapshots of, for all time the yearly monthly weekly and daily there's only one of them each, each time and that i think i have enough space on my ssd you know in, uh, in my home directory to accompany uh, to to accommodate that i think that's perfectly fine so however i also use sanoid to manage the target of the thing so if you notice up here in the syncoid thing we send from Nick's root home to be, I think Nick's 512 home. And that means that all the snapshots are copied from the Nick's root home to be, think Nick's 512 home uh, every time Syncoid runs, which is once a day. And this bit here, this configuration of Sanoid, um, up here we said, hey, take a snapshot every time you run, if you can, if you, if, it, if you need to take a snapshot in this auto snap equal true. Also, if things need to be pruned, if there's too many snapshots lying around, yes, please prune the old ones. That, that's why I only have these four, these four things here. But in the target, what I do is I say, please don't, I'm going to run Sanoid against you, but I don't want to just take a snapshot. I, I don't care about snapshots there. I, the, the snapshots have been copied from the source via Syncoid. Um, but what I, I do want you to prune old snapshots. However, the pruning strategy that I have is different. So I want to keep seven daily, um, snapshots, four weekly snapshots, 12 monthly snapshots and one yearly snapshot. And so if we go over here and we take a look at, uh, B, bring this back 12 home. This is the same, this is the same data. The, the, this is a copy of my next root home. There's only four snapshots here, but I'm keeping old, old historical versions of these snapshots around in the, on the target, which is perfect. You know, it, I, I don't, I don't care about the snap. I, all I want to do is take snapshots of the, of the source such that they get copied to the target. I want to retain those on the target, but I only re want to retain so many on the target. 
So this this is great. So I, I can I can restore from the data that I had a year ago, from you know any one of of twelve months ago, depending on how you know how long it's been running, um, from any of four weeks ago, and then I keep uh, seven days of snapshots around, so I can restore from yesterday. I can restore from three days ago, restore from last week, restore two weeks ago, I can restore from a month ago, I can restore from two months ago. It's fine. You know, I can, as, as long as I can mount those data sets, which I can. So um, there's a bit of weirdness about this, which I, it confused me for a while, which is why I didn't, haven't made a video in a while about it. Um, basically, it, it makes perfect sense in retrospect, um, but I, I didn't understand what was happening. So um, it is important to run Syncoid more often than Sanoid. The reason for that is that, uh, sorry, the other way around. It is important to run Sanoid more often than Syncoid. And the reason for that is that when Syncoid runs, it's actually using ZFS sender at ZFS receive to send this stuff. And while that's happening, Sanoid can't prune old snapshots. So what was happening is I would, it, it worked, everything worked. Uh, I was getting copies of everything, but the old snapshots on the target were not getting pruned. So I, I would have like, actually the old snapshots on both the source and the target, we're not getting pruned. So on the source, I would have, even though I've configured it here in Sanoid to say I only want one one daily snapshot, I would I would have as many daily snapshots uh, there as there were days that it had been running, and likewise week, weekly, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so I was like, WTF? Why doesn't this? Why aren't my old snapshots being being pruned? But what turned what it turned out to be was that. While Syncoid is running, Sanoid really can't do its job very well. So what would happen is it would try to stand, it would, Sanoid would try to prune a, a snapshot and it would see that Syncoid is still running because they run at the same time. This is, this is kind of like a Nix OS packaging thing, I guess. Like you don't really want these things to exactly run at the same time, but they do in, in the, you know, in this, in this Nix OS service configuration stuff, they do run exactly at the same time. So when Syncoid is running, Sanoid starts to run too, and it says, okay, I'd like to prune, but I can't because uh, the data set is either in ZFSN or, or ZFS Racine. So basically all you need to do is just change the interval of Syncoid to something uh, larger than the interval of Sanoid. And I've chosen to run Sanoid every hour, or Syncoid every day, uh, and that works fine. And all the things get, get pruned. Um, yeah, so... I'm not sure that any of this is making any sense to anybody, but it's making sense to me. I, well, whatever, somebody's going to get something out of it, I suppose. But so the the other thing that I I I wanted to show folks is that um in my old video I I I, I added this line: boot ZFS extra pools equal B, and what it would do is it would when I would reboot, it would indeed try to try to import that pool, that B pool, which is my target pool, my backup pool. Um, but it would also ask me for the passphrase of some of the, of the, of the think next 512 home that was in the pool. And I didn't want it to do that because it doesn't need it. I, I just wanted to raw send over the thing. So, uh, the way to get around that is to set this, uh, boot ZFS request encryption credentials to only my source data set, which is called next root. So. That was helpful. I don't need to do that anymore. I, it still asks for my Nix root credentials, but not my B credentials. So, and one of the other things that I noticed is that um, I'm, I'm not sure that my reality matches up with my admonition here, but in this bonus two thing, don't try to use C, E, or L arguments to syncoid send options. I think it's actually E or L. Um, if you use either of those arguments, uh, in the send options thing, which they're kind of optimizations. They're not really all that important to actually making it work. I think it would work faster if they worked, but, um, under open ZFS two, two dot X, uh, if you use those things, they, they somehow cause kernel panics, extremely high system usage. Um, so 
Yeah, don't use those. <laughs> Just use WC. That seems to work. I, I haven't had any kernel panics or system usage problems after trimming those outs. I think this is this is an upstream thing. This is an OpenZFS thing. And I know this is an OpenZFS thing because I was on the NixOS Discourse. Discourse. No, Element. The IRC-like thing. And I was chastised for recommending ZFS from those people, and they know quite a bit more than I do, um, and they're correct. But I think um, if you only use these send options, if you use encryption on your source and target data sets, you want to copy them over. If you only use WNC, it works. So I don't know what's going on with OpenZFS. It's kind of disappointing to see that uh, there are, there are a bunch of bugs in the in the in the OpenZFS tracker about this, and not much work to resolve them. But anyway, it works. I'm not worried about my data being corrupt or anything. As a result, it, it does work. So, all right. I think that's all I have. I really appreciate you watching. Thanks a lot.